So let's talk about these words that uh, our brother Simon Peter gave us here in Second Peter chapter 2, verse uh, 11, when he talked about abstaining from fleshly lust that war against your soul. And uh, when you use the word war, well, you're talking about battle. You're talking about that which is ongoing. And it's something that it doesn't just go away because it's a war. And you say, well, who is it that's uh, promoting the war? Well, we know that is the deceiver of the brethren. The scripture refers to him. Oh, Lucifer himself, he is warring against the soul. I think about the book of Daniel where it talks about how that the enemy comes to wear out the saints. And it's true. He does. He comes to wear out the saints and he will find the most vulnerable areas in each one of our lives and he'll just come and he'll just come at you and he'll just come at you and he'll just come at you because he realized that you're vulnerable in those areas. I think about the words of James when he talks about, he says, when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. So that tells me that when it comes to the issue of sin, there is a choice. Take, for instance, you're somewhere and something all of a sudden appears into your eyesight. You didn't plan it. You didn't organize it. You weren't thinking about having this show up in your eyesight, but it's there. Now you have a choice. Do you continue to allow your, your eyes to focus on that or do you turn away? Or perhaps maybe somebody drops a thought into your mind. You hadn't been thinking about it. And all of a sudden you find that you're, you're having uh, issues with maybe jealousy or, or something emotional that you know it's not positive for you. But instead of taking authority over it, you just allow it to just linger. And then the next thing you know, we're allowing ourselves to, to brood on it. And brooding just simply means unproductive thinking. It's just going over and over and over in your mind, and there's no control over it, and it's just wearing you down. Like you said, he comes to wear out the saints, to do war against your soul. So he said, well, Pastor King, what do we do about it? And this is where our material, Maturity comes in because you learn, first of all, to recognize the enemy, who he is and what he's about. Secondly, you have to establish yourself as a part of God's kingdom. Where are you in your faith? Where are you as far as your belief in God? Are there doubts in those areas? But well, those are areas that has to be addressed in your own heart and your own mind. Now, those are the things that you have to bring yourself to a point of focus to say, God, help me here. Because this is a struggle, and I don't want it to be a struggle. Allow the Holy Spirit to come and just minister to my soul that I would be strong to stand against the enemy. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel the radio broadcast.